Uh, we go into your words tonight, O oh Lord. Be with us, God, go before us. Mm -hmm. While we breaking your bread, Lord, help us, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord. Help us. So we we thankful once more for this Bible study that we're having. We want um to thank God for this opportunity as as always for this chance that he gives to us. And we know in these Bible study, we want God to help us to mm -hmm. open up our eyes of our understanding where we could be led in the right path. Uh, not leaning onto our own understanding, but according to his leading. Mm -hmm. So we want to, there's a couple of things that we have to have when we doing Bible study, we have to have a notebook ready. We're gonna to have to have a Bible at hand. And the most important thing that we're gonna to have to have is an open mind, a ready mind uh, to be able to receive the word of God. So we wanna go into the, uh, let's talk a little about the ready mind. And first Peter chapter one, verse First Peter chapter one, verse 13. All right, first Peter one, chapter 13. Therefore, grip up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be bought to you at the revelation, revelation of Jesus Christ. Yes, we need to gird up our loins of our minds right now. Our minds should be thinking on the things of God, not the things what's happening around us right now, right? We need to focus, get our minds ready to receive the word of God. It shouldn't be, our mind should not be troubled right now, but it should be open to receive the word of God. Amen. All right, and it says you have to rest your hope fully on the grace. It's by grace that we able to have our eyes of our understanding to be able to be open, right? Be able to touch our ears so we can hear mm -hmm. the word of God. Hallelujah. And, and be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. The whole purpose of the whole Bible study is to, to receive the revelation of Jesus Christ, who he is, Amen. his character, his attributes, right? Because our goal is to be like Jesus, mm -hmm. only through the word of God that we're feeding on, we're going to be able to be like him. Mm -hmm. So we want to go into 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Chapter 8, verse 12. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12. For if there is first a willing mind, it is accepted according to what one has and not according to what he does not have. Right, we have to have that willing mind. 
right? Have that will in mind to be able to receive the word of God, right? God wants to see, for us to receive anything from God, God has to see that will in mind, mm -hmm. right? God has to see that will in mind. God wants to see, are we willing to accept the word? Right? Accept the word. You say you receive faith by faith come first by hearing the word. You have to have that will in mind Amen. to be able to receive that word. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Right? Let's look at uh James chapter one, verse 18 and 19. James chapter 1, 18 and 19. Okay. James chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be kind of first fruits of his creations. Can you see that? He, by his own will, by his grace, he brought forth, he brought us forth by the word of truth. Right? That's the way he's going to save us by the word of truth. That's the way he's going to be able to set us apart from everybody else by us receiving the word of truth. Amen. That we can be the kinds of first fruits. Right? We could be a part of him. Mm -hmm. We could be a part of his kingdom. Right? But we have to have... Uh, a, a willing mind, a ready mind to receive the word right, of God, because that's his pleasure. He wants to bring us forth the word of truth. We could be set us, set us free. He said that truth shall set you free, mm -hmm. right? The truth shall set you free. The truth is the word of God that is going to set us free. But we have to have, we have to do the preparation, you know, uh, in order for the word to God to come forth. We have to be ready to receive Amen. the word of God. And um, verse 19. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. There we go. All right. So. The, the Bible telling us that we need to be slow to speak, but quick to hear the word of God. All right? We have to be able to hear the word of God. All right? We have to be able to hear the word of God. All right? We know in Jeremiah 29, 11, it tells us that through the word of God, by us listening, being quick to hear the word of God, we could get these nuggets, get these truths that encourage us, that helps build us. Like Jeremiah 29, 11, he say, I have a plan, a purpose for you, not to harm you, but to give you an expected end. Hallelujah. Amen. Right? When we able to uh, hear the word of God, we have that ready mind to receive the word of God. We receive these nuggets right that able to help us build our faith up even more mm -hmm. right hallelujah amen right so but there is two things here that we want to work on because we are on the course to work on the five stages of the growth 
of Jesus Christ within us, right? We own that. That's what we're working towards, but we have to lay the groundwork before we go into that, um, do the preparation that's needed. Um, if we look in Hebrews chapter six, verse one, there's two elements there. Hebrews chapter six, verse one. Hebrews chapter six, verse one. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Right, you see these two elements is crucial for us to receive, to understand. And when we're talking about the development that needs to happen within us, we have to have that understanding of the foundation of repentance from dead works. And we have to have that understanding of the faith towards God. We have to have that understanding, right? And we, let's just read, before we get into that, let's just read Psalm 75, verse six and seven. Because we cannot do anything without the Lord help. We need the help of the Lord. If we're going to do anything in his kingdom, if we're going to advance in his kingdom, if we're going to go to the next level in his kingdom, if we're going to grow, we need the help of the Lord to be able to do this. Yeah. All right? We need the help of the Lord to help us to do this. And that's why right now we're in the dispensation of grace. He's given us the opportunity right now where we can have full access Amen. Uh, to him, mm -hmm. right? That's why he said, come all those that have heavy burden and labor, come and I will give you rest for your soul. Your Amen. soul have a place for rest, rest in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. right? So right here, this is the help that we have to have from the Lord. Uh, verse, start of verse six. Um, the exaltation comes neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. Right? The promotion. Promotion. Getting an increase. Right? Moving to the next level. It doesn't come from east or west or south. Right? Mm -hmm. But verse 7. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. You see, God is the one that's judging. He's looking at our hearts. Do we want to take this walk with him seriously? He's looking in the hearts. Mm -hmm. Who wants to take this walk with him seriously? Right? God is being a judge. And he said he puts down one and exalt the other one being you having the opportunity today we have the opportunity god is exalting us he's allowing us to go forward in him Amen. he's allowing us to grow in him mm -hmm. he doesn't want us to stay ignorant mm -hmm. right just to, to eat sleep to eat sleep and die that's not a, a, a life that's what God called us to have. Amen. 
but for us to fully understand his plan and his purpose for us. But it takes the help of God for us to, to be able to even go to the next level, even to grow, mm -hmm. right? It say he exalts another, right? Mm -hmm. That God given us access, Amen. right? You have free access to him, but it takes God, just like Jesus said, no one could come to me if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the Father, mm -hmm. right? You, God has to give us access to that Word. Amen. The Word, what is Jesus Christ, His Son? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So God is being a judge. Amen. Right. So uh, we said two elements there. Uh, there in Hebrew chapter one, it says there the foundation of repentance. And there, there is the uh, uh, the faith in God, right? Those two elements we have to work on them. Um, these are foundational foundations that we're gonna need. Yeah, if uh, uh, Hebrew chapter six verse one, we have to have these. Yes, chapter six verse one, we have to have these two elements. We have to have a, a, a greater understanding of these two elements if we want to go on with the Lord. Foundations of repentance. Yeah, yeah. the foundations of repentance. You can't build a house if you don't have no foundation. Amen. Right? The house is just going to uh, it, it gonna fall apart. Mm -hmm. The first thing first, you have to have a strong foundation before you be able to put other things on there. These are foundational truths that you need right you have to have a greater understanding of them so faith in god we're gonna have to have the understanding of faith in god we have to believe that there is a god man right if we if you can't believe that there is a god that's just uh <laughs> It's no point of you going forward because you don't even believe that there is a higher being out there, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, let's look at a few scriptures here to prove this point here. Uh, uh, the first one I want to look at, Psalms 121. Is there foundations or repentance and what was the other one? Uh, um, faith in God. Okay. Faith in God. We need these. These are foundations to build the house. For you to be built on that rock, you have to have the foundations. Yes, we can start. We could start on um, start on verse one and two. Verse one. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? Yeah, you see, in order for you to lift up your eyes, you have to realize, you have to believe there is a, a higher power. Mm -hmm. Right, you have to recognize with my own with my own understanding. Right, with my own understanding, I cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. Right, I am limited as a human being. I am limited. Right, in order for me to lift up my eyes, I have to have a belief. Without faith, it's impossible. Amen. To please the Lord, they that comes before him must believe mm -hmm. that he is. Amen. Oh my goodness. Amen. They must believe that he is, right? In order for you to lift up your eyes, right? You have to believe there is a higher power. Mm -hmm. There is something greater than you. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, hallelujah. There ha you have to have a belief that there is a, a being that is greater than you. That's right. Right? Greater than the president. Mm -hmm. Greater than the government. Mm -hmm. 
greater than my family. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Right, in order to lift up your eyes. And it said, whence comes my help? In order for you to lift up your eyes, to know where your true help comes from, and for you to, to, to truly tap onto the, the source, I have to have that faith in God. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't go around it. That's that's my foundation. Right? That's my foundation. I have to build my foundation on that solid rock. I have to have that faith in God. Amen. To know that's my source, that where comes my help. Mm -hmm. Verse two. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I have to recognize my source. Verse two is just doing that confirmation, letting us know. I have to know where's my true help coming from. It's not in my intellect. It's not in uh, my finances. It's not in uh, my friends. Mm -hmm. It's not in, in, in people I'm, I have association with, but I have to know where's the source. Amen. It said, my help, the source comes from the Lord. Yes. What makes them so different than all the other sources, the, all the other resources here on earth? Because he is the main source. Mm -hmm. Right? If, and the other part of that, he said, he, we know he's the main source because he said, who made the heaven and the earth? Amen. Oh, my goodness. I need to be friends with this type of source. That's right. Right? Let's, let's look at, while I'm here, uh, uh, I have to read this verse uh, in Psalms 100. It's a short psalm, but it's, it's power packed for us to realize who is our true source. Psalms 100. Why are we here? Why are we talking about the main source? What makes God the main source? It says something here too. Um, let, let's, let's start on verse one. We can start on verse one because it's so good. Okay. Yes. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Uh -huh. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. We have to know what is the main source. Who is the main source? Mm -hmm. you said, but that's why you have to know that the Lord, he is God. I remember uh, uh, there is a story about Moses going, uh, 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 finding that burning bush. And that burning bush spoke out to Moses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? We got to find that burning bush. Mm -hmm. And it got to speak out to us too. Right? That burning bush is uh, the Lord God. Right? But he gave Moses a name that is above other, all other names. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He had to let Moses know that he's the main source. Mm -hmm. Because Moses said, they won't believe me if I go and tell them, what is your name? <laughs> mm -hmm. He said, I am that I am. He letting them know that I am the source. Whatever you need me to be, I'm the main source. You need healing, I am the main source. It's Amen. not the doctors. I am the main source. It's not the hospital. You need deliverance. It's not the preacher Amen. that's going to bring the deliverance. Right. It's me. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Right, I'm the one that sees the beginning from the end. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I remember when the king was dying, he told the prophet Isaiah, you go back and tell that king, I'm going to give him 15 more years. Only God can do this stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hallelujah. Because he's the main source. Amen. He's the creator of the heaven and the earth. That's right. He's in control of everything. Right? And he said, uh, 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 know that the Lord, he is God. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let's finish that off. It is he who made, who has made us and not ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Right. You see that? He letting us know. Uh, uh, he's giving us more insights to see why is he the main source? Mm -hmm. He said, I'm the main source. Not just because I made the heaven and the earth. He said, I'm the main source because it is he who made us. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Not we ourselves. If I'm here breathing, I'm alive today. Yeah. Because of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Right? It's because of the Lord I'm able to see another day. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Moses tell us, Lord, Moses had to tell the Lord, teach us how to lumber our days. Oh, Lord. My goodness. Amen. Oh, and it says in the Psalms, uh, I, I believe in four, it says, I lay down my head to sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Keep me in perfect peace. That's right. It's the Lord, right, that renews his mercy, his love and kindness, uh, that wakes us up in the morning each and every day. Oh, I can go on and on and on to tell you how the Lord is the source mm -hmm. of our life. Amen. We have no life really without him. Mm -hmm. There's no existence without God. That's right. right. He who made us, we not ourselves. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. He said we are his people. That's right. That's oh, right. Oh, hallelujah. The sheep of his past. Mm hmm Oh, hallelujah. I get excited just talking about the Amen. Lord. I get excited just talking about the Lord. Let, let's look at another one. Psalms 135. Psalm 135. 135, verse 5 and 6. I'm driving this. I'm driving this so we can fully understand having faith in God. That's why we have to have the understanding of having faith in God, what it means to have faith in God. You got to know who he is. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. Amen. Psalms 135, verse 5 and 6. And here we go. It's going to give us some more evidence, right? We're working on the evidence right now. Proof, right? The lawyer to have to uh, present the evidence, right, for the case. So I'm presenting the evidence for the case to show why we have to have faith in God. Why is that so important? Because he's the main source. Amen. There is no existence without him. Let's read verse five. Here's the evidence. Sorry. Don't take my words for it. Sorry. Don't take my words for it. Here we go. For I know that the Lord is great and our love and our Lord is above all God. Why God is so great? Because our Lord is above all other gods. Oh, my God. That's why he's great, because he's above all other gods. We don't even need no interpretation for that right there. All right? That's what's making him so great. He is above all other gods, all other idols. Anything I want to consider a God, he's above. The word of God is telling me right here. The evidence is proving this to us through the word of God, that he is above all other gods. That includes me. Sometimes we think we are gods ourselves. We act like gods, mm -hmm. right? We point fingers. We try to judge people. 
We think we better than everybody else. He said he's above even me. Right? In verse 6. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does. In the heaven and in earth. In the seas and in all deep places. Oh, my goodness. Here's another thing that letting us know why God is so great. Because he does whatever he pleases. Hmm. In the heaven. In the earth, in the seas, in all deep places, God do whatever he wants, hmm. right? He saves whoever he wants to save. Yeah. He opened up whoever he wants to open up their eyes. He, want, he will open up their eyes, whoever. He opened up their ears, whoever he wants, ears to be able to open up to hear the word of God. God is able to do this. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need our help for this. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God does whatever he pleases. Yeah. Everything belongs to God. Right? Amen. Everything belongs to God. Right, all power belongs to God. Let's look at Second Peter. Oh, I feel, boy, I feel, I feel a stern in my spirit right now when I'm talking about God. Second Peter chapter five. Let me make sure. Yeah. Uh, it might be First Peter. First Peter chapter five. We want to see that all power belongs to God. Verse 11. Am I right on that? This one? Yes. First Peter chapter 5, verse First Peter chapter five, verse 11. We got to see this stuff. We, 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 we just sh showing the evidence why it's so important to have faith in God. We have to have that faith in God. Yeah. Right? We building that foundation. We're working on the foundation right now. Okay. First Peter five, verse 11. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. You see that? All power belongs to the Lord God. Amen. All power belongs to him. Right? He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. Right? He's the creator of the heavens on the earth. Everything belongs to him. Right? I'm so thankful that I belong to the Lord. I'm so thankful for this. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I am so thankful for this. That all things belongs to the Lord. That's right. Right? Everything belongs to the Lord. So we have to put God in his rightful place. God doesn't want to be the co-pilot. He wants to be the pilot of our lives. Amen. For us to move forward in the Lord, we have to have that strong foundation. That's right. All right, we have to have that strong foundation on the Lord. We have to have that strong foundation. Let's, we're going to go into closing with this. Psalms 23, verse 6. 23, verse 6. Yeah, Psalms 23, verse 6.
Psalms 23, verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes, we want, we truly want the, uh, the goodness and the mercy of God to follow us all the days of our lives, right? But there is something we have to do. We have to have faith in God. Let's, I say this is the last scripture, but let me give you one more, right? For us, for that surely that goodness and mercy to fall upon us, we have to have that faith in God. We have to believe that he's the main source. We have to know that he's the main source. Faith in God is knowing that he's the main source, uh, 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 believing that he's the main source, mm -hmm. understanding that he's the main source. Amen. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. That's a key verse there we could put in our treasure box. Yes. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Yes. Okay, there's another evidence right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to close with this right here. It says, Jeremiah, let us know. Call to me. Mm -hmm. Right? In order to have that faith in God, we have to, uh, uh, in order to call to him, we have to believe and have faith in him to know he's the higher power. He's a higher being. Right? We have to recognize. You're not going to call to anything. If you don't recognize his authority, mm -hmm. you call 911 because you recognize the authority that 911 has. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I feel excited about mm -hmm. that one. So you have to recognize the authority of God. Write that down. Uh-uh. Jeremiah 33, verse 3 is letting us you know recognize the authority. Faith in God is recognizing the authority. Oh, I like the way that sounds. Thank you. Oh, the Holy Spirit has dropped that in my spirit. You have to recognize the authority. Faith in God is recognize the authority that God possesses. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I Amen. am that I am. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Yes. That woman with the issue of blood recognized the authority. Oh, my goodness. I'm Amen. feeling it right now. She recognized the authority. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. That's how she Amen. was able to get healed. He called her. Uh, I love. After she got healed, mm -hmm. Jesus turned around and said, somebody touch me. The disciples did not understand. And he, they said, everybody yes. is touching you. But everybody that was touching him did not recognize the authority That's that he right. possesses. Hallelujah. Only this woman with the issue of blood recognized the authority. She had faith in God. Oh, my goodness. That's right. Amen. Oh, she was Amen. able to pull the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the garments. Oh, oh, she was able to get something from the Lord. Yeah. When you recognize the authority that God possesses you able to receive from him. Oh, Praise hallelujah. The Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. That's when you're ready to call out Thank to him. You, Jesus. Oh, I'm feeling that right now. The Holy Praise Spirit drop that in me. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You Thank want something the from the Lord? Recognize yes. his authority that his he That's possesses. Right. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. When you recognize the authority that the Lord possesses, that's now. Mm -hmm. You begin to understand your place in Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. This woman placed in the Lord, when Jesus turned around, he asked, who touched me? When this old lady, uh, 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 she was kind of afraid to speak, but you know that Jesus read hearts, right? He knows the heart of man. He looked at this old lady who was sick. Mm-hmm. 
and he looked at her and he told uh, and he by just the look the way he looked at her he caused her to speak out and said it was Amen. me lord Amen. <laughs> the part of this would make it so uh, so intimate so beautiful Mm -hmm. When we recognize the authority that God possesses, we put ourselves in position as a child of God. Please, please put that down. Uh, when you recognize the authority that God possesses, you put yourself in position as a child of God. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the spirit is dropping in this on me right now. Oh, boy, I feel like running with this. When you recognize the authority that God possesses, you place yourself in position mm -hmm. as a child of God to receive all the thing that belongs to you. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. If it's blessings, you will receive it. If it's Amen. healing, if it's deliverance, mm -hmm. if it's truth, if it's understanding, Oh, I feel it, man. Right? You put yourself in that position as a child of God. This is one of the plans and the purpose God had for you from the beginning. Oh, hallelujah. The enemy uh, plan is to you to lose your identity. But when you recognize your identity in the Lord, oh, my, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. You are trouble for the enemy. Mm. You begin to cause trouble for the enemy because you recognize who you are. That's right. When you recognize who you are, you know that faith is contagious. Mm -hmm. When you have faith in God, it's contagious. Man. People around it, around you start to begin to believe when they start to see you. That's right. Not speaking but doing actions of faith. Oh, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Boy, I Amen. This down. Amen. oh, hallelujah. The spirit is dropping these things, these little nuggets right now for me to get right now. Right? Call on the name. So when Jesus turned around, he didn't speak to her like she was a stranger. Right? He said, my daughter, that faith, your faith has made you here. By your faith, you are here. Mm -hmm. My daughter, my son, my child. You Amen. see, oh my goodness. Woo! I'm feeling that right now. Oh, I'm feeling that right now. He said, my daughter. He didn't call her by, he didn't consider her a stranger. Mm -hmm. He said, my daughter, by your faith, you are made healed. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Because you recognize my authority, you are made healed. You recognize my authority that I possess, you have your deliverance, which you've been looking for. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Let's finish with this. Oh, it's so good. Uh, it's so good. Uh, it says, uh, he called out, mm -hmm. called out to me, called to me, and I will answer you. Amen. Oh, here we go. And show you great and mighty things, which you do not know. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. When we have that faith in God. Oh, we're going to call out to him, and he's getting ready to show us great and mighty things. That's he right. revealed things to us. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. He opened up our eyes of our understanding, right? He revealed things that we had no clue. That's right. He revealed things about ourselves, right? He revealed things to us in his words. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, my goodness. He revealed great and mighty things toward us. So praise be to God. Praise oh, the Lord. Hallelujah. So Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. 
for coming in our midst right yes. now in this Bible study, God, your name, for your Holy Jesus. Spirit, for taking control, Thank oh Lord, you, Lord, for dropping Hallelujah. these nuggets, Thank oh Lord, you, Lord, for dropping these words. nuggets upon us, oh Thank Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord Jesus. We bless oh, you. Oh, hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord, for your visitation. Hallelujah. Thank you for your visitation, oh Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Thank for your you, presence, Lord. oh Lord. For not leaving us by ourselves, oh Lord. Praise be to your name. Let all of those that's going to hear mm -hmm. God and, and see this to be blessed. Amen. God. Oh, to receive your truths, God. The eyes that's of their understanding, the ears to be able to hear what the right. word of God is that's saying. Right. Praise be to your name. Praise oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's continue to pray for the country. Continue here to pray for the city. Mm -hmm for the states, for our presidents, for mm -hmm. the government, especially pray for the children of God, for us to find our true identity in him. That's Hallelujah. Right. Amen. For we can recognize in 21 who we are truly are in God. Mm -hmm. We are not the we are not the tail, but we are the head. Amen. That's what he said. He said we are more than conquerors. That's right. He said, we are victorious in him. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And let us recognize who we are in 21. We, I am a child of the almighty king, the creator of the heaven and the earth. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We don't have to be in confusion. Mm -mm. God is not the author of confusion, but he warned us. To call out to him for he Amen. can reveal these great right. and mighty things that we don't know about. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to your God. Praise be the Lord. So you, we Praise be you blessed. Jesus. Yes. Everybody hallelujah. be blessed. We love you. Praise the oh, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank Praise you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh Lord. Praise, Praise your name.